Hi, this is Chris Davis of Sashka, an Android community, and this is the new Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom. It's the company's new smartphone camera hybrid, building on the legacy of the Galaxy camera. Uh, it's actually more similar uh, to the Galaxy S4 Mini that we've also seen Samsung announce at this Premier 2013 event, which means you get a 4.3-inch touchscreen on the back, one half gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but the difference is that on the front, there is a 16-megapixel uh, camera and also a 10 times optical zoom, and that's surprisingly large uh, for not only for a compact camera, but certainly for a smartphone. It does make the device uh, a little thick, though, if we turn the, the camera on, which you can do by hitting the shutter release button. You'll see that it's actually a considerably longer lens, and you control the zoom by dialing in this little wheel here around the lens barrel itself. Now, obviously, part of what will affect the photos, or the quality of the photos, is the size of the sensor. Uh, I've already had some arguments about whether that's offering a big enough advantage, perhaps, over the traditional point-and-shoot camera, or indeed over other smartphone cameras, but certainly the optical zoom and the convenience of having LTE in a point-and-shoot camera might convince people, even if the quality isn't uh, the very highest as they might get, uh, but, you know, the convenience of having everything built into one hybrid device might be sufficient. Uh, in terms of the phone, you get LTE, as I said, you also get 3G HSPA. Uh, there's an NFC option on the LTE model, uh, Wi-Fi ABGM and Bluetooth 4.0. So, all in all, it's a surprisingly pocketable uh, smart camera, or a surprisingly chunky smartphone, uh, take your pick. Uh, we'll know for sure how well Samsung has done in terms of balancing the two when we put it through its full paces in the review. This is Chris Davis of Slashkin Android Community, thanks very much. For